Please note that I will be using shortcuts for Windows in this tutorial. This video is about some layout essentials and making your score and parts easy to read. Make sure that your paper size on your printer and in Sibelius in the score as well as the parts are all the same, A4 in this case. Click on your Layout tab and uncheck Auto. Change in the document setup, change your normal staff size to 6 mm. Now I'm going to select my whole score, Ctrl A or Command A for Mac and reset space above. This looks a bit messy but we will sort this out. Ideally, we would like two systems per page. I can select the whole document, Control A or Command A, and type in the command search box, Systems per page. And we want two systems per page, also on the first page. We will click on Lock Format. That is already looking better. Here I see there's an odd bar that we can add to a previous system. So click in bar 5, shift click in bar 8, layout, make into system. Let's make a break on this final bar line. I'm just going to hit the return or Enter key on the main keyboard. I think we want four bars in this system and four bars in the next system. And you can see again we've got three systems in this page. So for now I'm just going to do it manually. In my second system I'm just going to click Control Enter for a page break or Command Enter. I do want four bars in every system and I can see there are four bars in my first system and in my second system but in the third system I'm, I'm just going to select the last bar Control shift left arrow four bars and I'm going to go to layout make into system Again, on this page, I have just one system instead of two. I'm going to change it manually. Put a page break at the end of bar 10. And remove the page break on bar 4. Then I have two systems again. I'll do the same with this bar. Remove the page break. And I have two systems per page. There's G, H, and I. And I think that is looking a lot better. Another thing you should do before completing your whole project is to select all the music. Again, Control A or Command A for Mac. Go to Appearance tab and Reset Notes, click on Reset Note Spacing. Sometimes when you've done a lot of moving around of bars, the notes need to just reshuffle a bit in the correct position. I'm going to just click on the View tab, make sure I can see the page margins, the layout marks, as well as the staff rulers. I just need to see that my margins are not too small. You will see that from the second page, the title and the full score are a little bit high. So I'm going to just push them down a little bit. You don't really need the full score to show on every page. So if you didn't want it to show, you can just hide it. Control Shift H, Command Shift H for Mac. 
going back to my first page you can see my title is almost at the top so I'm going to just move this down a little bit to give me a little more room I could move the copyright a bit lower I could even make this margin a little bit smaller so let's do that Control D for document setup or command D for Mac my margin is 5.3 I'm going to make it 5 see if it makes a difference click OK now I can move the title down a little bit composer and this name I will just move a little bit higher now when I click on view and uncheck my layout marks page margins and staff rulers Another good tip if you want to make sure that all the pages look the same, the layout. Top margin on the first page is bigger, so we're just going to select from the second page. That layout looks good. And I'm going to scroll to the end, shift click so that they are all selected. Click on the layout tab and align stages to the first selected page like nothing happened there but it could have been possible that some of the systems might have changed a bit if you found this useful please click on the like and subscribe buttons to my channel and also click on the notifications so you will have access to my next video Not so easy.